What's up guys? In this video, I will teach you how to make a creative stair, circular stair in Revit. So in this project, I use the millimeter. So I go to new, browse, okay, Revit templates, US metric and default and metric and hit OK. So before we go in straight to the tutorial, I would like to ask to everyone that please view every part of this video and please don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. So everyone updated once I make a many, many video tutorial like this. Okay, so first thing I will do is to set or command RT for the shortcut reference plane. Okay, so now what I'm going to do next is to go to stair, okay? So this stair is existing into the Revit, okay? So I just use this as my guide, okay? So I choose the circular stair and I just place it the cir uh, circle type like this, okay? And then once you have this, you go outside, okay? It finish. Okay. So now, I just change this into 3D, okay? And set it to fine and realistic, okay? So what I'm going to do next is to pick this stair, okay? And go here, edit. And of course, you need to duplicate it custom stair okay stair and hit okay so because this cost uh, creative stair I want to remove all of this okay the left side and the right side so here in the type properties if you drag it like this okay right support here I change it into none and the left support is I change it also into none and hit OK. OK. So now what I'm going to do next, go inside to this by double clicking this stair, pick this stair, OK, edit. And if you drag again here in the type properties, OK, drag it like this, there is a riser here. OK. So the slanted. I check this okay and uncheck this one and apply and okay okay so this is the one already okay and hit finish and I would don't want this uh, railing pole to this side okay so now once you have finished this one okay go to level one okay and now you need to make some uh, structure in the middle of this stair okay so i'll just go back to 3d okay and now i go to component okay Go to component model in place. Okay, and of course, because this is stair, so I just choose the stair. Okay, stair. Okay. And now you can go back into the uh, level one and choose the extrusion. Okay, and I just simply draw a circle in the middle okay so that is the purpose of the reference plane okay so once you have this go to 3d pick this okay or hit finish okay so you can drag it this all the way up like this so you can go to south okay for example like that 
okay of course you need to change this into the material okay i just changed it into wood so go to create new rename wood okay and go to appearance pick this okay and i want to choose uh, any of wood okay plm so it's up to everyone okay and hit okay so now what i'm going to do next is to go back into the 3d so more is more clear okay so now it's okay so go back into the level one okay and you can hit finish okay and now you can pick this stair okay double click it go inside and pick this one and you see this arrow you can drag it like this okay closer into your uh, circle okay so go to 3d okay and go to architecture component model in place okay of course you need again to choose the stair to your mass okay so now what i'm going to do is to go to set first okay go to set pick a plane okay and now i just pick this one okay and now go to extrusion and use the pick line okay i just set this first step okay and this is the same all of the steps of all the remaining steps okay so i just simply drag it this to close up cancel and drag it this one okay and to the end of the edge of the other uh, circle okay and now command of and i just choose okay 13 and now command sl okay s l split this okay tr for the shortcut okay and now hit finish okay so you can pick this okay and drag it all the way down like this okay even this okay and now you, you can also change it to material of wood okay so already in the wood okay and now let's counter check first realistic so this is uh, what he look already okay so double click it again okay and I just go to one frame and you can do it all the steps.
OF Okay Delete this overlap OF SL PR Okay so almost all are the same procedure okay so now hit finish okay we need to connect first this okay you simply drag it all the way like this and hit finish and drag it this okay so now what i'm going to do next is to go to hit finish okay hit the tab modify hit the tab select this okay add and double click okay pick this okay and go to edit and change the material of okay this is wood apply okay and hit finish okay so now once you have this okay pick this okay go to change this into i just want this glass okay so pick again okay edit type okay duplicate okay let's say glass or wood rail okay so now what i'm going to do next is to change this okay i just change this into wood again okay wood and double check it here I scroll down okay so i think this is uh, Okay, already and so elliptical and hit okay and now go here to edit okay i don't like this okay it's better i make the preview here okay so this is delete okay i just change this into wood okay and i just simply change also the here this one into uh, circular handrail 30 apply and hit okay so okay okay and now i just go here and here i don't like also this glass so i make it none and i just change this into re you just always remember this size okay once you change changing okay so 25 so here 25 here 25 and here 25 okay apply so it will see and hit okay so i think this is already okay so we can counter check it okay okay 
so already updated here so if i just change it into realistic you can see this is our simple very cool looking uh, circular shape of the stair okay so i hope that uh, very clear to each and everyone so please don't forget to like share or subscribe for more uh, uh, support to this channel and especially everyone updated once i make a video tutorial like this so this is the created stair or circular stair in revit so thank you to all of you see you in my next video